hey guys welcome back to another video so in this video i will be teaching you guys how to design the layout of a common source cmos amplifier so go ahead and launch layout excel create a new layout and here you can also for um, viewing the schematic you can open the schematic So uh, let us flash back to the common source amplifier. It consists of two transistors, one PMOS and one NMOS. The width is 50 microns and 10 microns respectively and the lengths are 1 microns each. So it consists only of two transistors. We can generate them from source. We can generate it from the schematic. Go ahead and generate them. So this is the PMOS and this is the NMOS. And to see the internal structure, you have to press Shift F. Now we can place the PMOS above, the NMOS below. So this is V out pin. Let us bring it here. This is the V bias. VSS. This is the VN pin. VN, V bias, VDD, VSS, and V out. The gate of the PMOS is V in. The gate of NMOS is V bias. Gate of PMOS is V in. Gate of NMOS is V bias. So go ahead and instantiate a metal one to poly. So this gate forms the V in and this forms the V bias. Move the VN pins. Now coming to the output pin, the two drains of both the transistors are shorted and that forms the output pin. So the two drains are shorted and that forms the output pin. So you can draw a metal one path connecting them. And you can use arrow keys to move left, right, top or bottom. Align the two transistors. So this forms the V out. And the layout itself is indicating that this net is V out. So place the pin on the metal. Now coming to the VDD and VSS. So you can go to these and choose body tie type as detached. This forms a body connection for um, the two transistors. So this becomes the VDD and this becomes the VSS but as you can observe that there is no connection between them so we have to draw a metal path 
so press p and drop metal part so you can add multiple parts and now place the VDD pin on VDD and same for VSS so since the transistor's width is 50 microns 50 microns it is quite long so the layout is done you can run LVS and DRC so there are no DRCs found if you carefully do the layout I'm sure that there will be very few or there will be very minimum LVS and DRCs that you come across so it is telling me to check and save my schematic so don't forget to check and save the schematic guys so there are no LVS errors and there are no DRC errors so it is a very clean design so now mm, how do I optimize it you can further optimize this layout so suppose I don't have this much of say height in my design I have only somewhere around this much of height that is available to me and I have to design my common source amplifier in this much of height so what I can do then is I can split this PMOS into two so I can show you guys so what I can do is this is 50 this is 50 microns so I can make uh, a two fingered device with finger width of 25 microns so it is going to create two transistors and having two fingers with a total width of 50 microns so what it is going to do is it is going to make two poly connections so I have to short these two polys so I can fit it in this much of height and this optimize my design even further by increasing the finger uh, numbers so I can make it five finger device of 10 microns which will further decrease the height and this is useful for advanced optimizing techniques so uh, this is a good enough design for now so this wraps up the comps layout design it is a very simple um, layout and if you have any LVS or DRC errors that you come across you can definitely post them down in the comments I'll be very much happy to answer them so thank you stay tuned Bye.